welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another celebrity inspired what I eat in a day video. And I'm doing Megan Fox based on your guys, suggestions, recommendations, and for me to just do the research and put together a I ate like Megan Fox for the day. So it has been a minute since I've done one of these videos. If you like these celebrity videos, I've done so many. I've done Jessica Alba, Kourtney Kardashian, Meghan Markle, Khloe Kardashian, who else? Shane Mitchell. I'm probably missing somebody. And I have to say Megan Fox was definitely the hardest. One, because she is lower carb, she's keto pretty much. It's like a keto paleo diet. And two, she's so much more private than the other celebrities I've done. But I definitely did my research for you. What I appreciated with her is that she does have coffee because some of these, what I eat a day, they're like, I just skip coffee. No. So I'm gonna show you guys what she eats in a day and throughout the video, I'll just share different facts about things she said about her diet, about cheat days, about why she does keto, why she does low carb, why she does paleo and all of that. I also wanna share my experience with a low carb diet because you guys know I was low carb for years. And last but not least, this video is in collaboration with Bondi Boo. So I'm gonna share the vitamins that I take for really long, thick hair. Whenever I have new followers following me, they always ask if I have hair extensions or anything like that, and I don't. This is all me. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Good morning, everyone. So the first thing Megan Fox has in the morning is coffee. Thank the Lord. I did not have to skip coffee today. So I couldn't find her exact coffee recipe, but I did find articles where she said coffee is the worst thing she has in her diet because she sticks to a mostly healthy diet and that coffee is probably the worst out of everything. So I used my almond milk creamer since she is dairy free and she does prefer almond milk. So I just thought, why not just use what I have. Then for breakfast, she likes to have a egg white omelet with fresh veggies. Again, I wasn't able to find which exact veggies, but I chose low glycemic as in low sugar vegetables. I went with mushrooms. Mushrooms are huge in a keto diet. And since she does love Japanese food, I decided to go with mushrooms. I also decided to go with parsley to season it as well as some peppers. When you are on a keto diet, it's really all about flavor. So salt, pepper, parsley, really getting creative with flavor since you can't add too many different things. How funny is this? I found this live on YouTube and look at the pan. Does something look familiar? These green pans became so popular. I've been obsessed for years, but, but any whoosie, I've seen so many celebrities use those pans. Um, but anyway, then she adds a handful of almonds. So you definitely want to mix your protein with fat. That way you stay full longer. That's a huge thing in the keto world. Okay, so sometimes in these what I eat in a day videos, I get different inspo for snacks or for smoothies or something like that. And I have to say that breakfast is definitely one of them. So that is definitely something I'm going to keep up with is a quick omelet. I think when I make it, I'm gonna add the yolk. I don't think I'm just gonna do egg whites, but I am going to incorporate more omelets. It looked like it wasn't gonna be filling. It actually, when I read the article, I kind of like judged it before and I was just like, oh my God, an egg white omelet with veggies and some almonds, like that's not gonna make me feel full. But actually it was quite the opposite. I've been full all day and now it's time to make her snack. So she does like to do five small meals throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks. One of the snacks is a protein smoothie. So she does add almond milk, fresh fruit, and a protein powder. I'm gonna buy spill this all over my white shirt. But the key thing with the smoothie is low glycemic fruits. So that's why I chose blueberries and raspberries. It didn't specify, it just said that she sticks to low glycemic fruit um, in her smoothies. And that's the other thing when you are doing keto or um, low carb, you don't want to fill it with a ton of fruit, especially not like bananas or high sugar, high carb fruits. Pretty much the berry family is a good one. I love that it's just such a simple smoothie. When I saw it, it was just like almond milk, low sugar fruit and protein powder, I was just like, 
yes. Cheers. I'm assuming she uses a vegan protein powder. That's what I used today. I used salted caramel by Tropica because I read that she is dairy free. She actually used to be vegan. She's no longer vegan. She has continued to be dairy free um, and said that dairy just does all sorts of things to your hormones. Megan Fox credits a lot of her weight loss to going dairy free. She says it's hard on your hormones and that it could be the cause of weight gain. Okay, so for lunch, Megan Fox likes to have a salad with either salmon, smoked salmon or grilled chicken or turkey if she's not feeling like salmon. And since we're having salmon for dinner, I decided we'll do a grilled chicken. She likes to have that with greens mix the greens with olive oil. Then she likes to do a splash of apple cider vinegar. It's been said that a lot of celebrities like using apple cider vinegar for weight loss, speeding up your metabolism. If you're new to using apple cider vinegar or if you see people drink it, that's like pretty popular to wanna make sure you're buying this one. This one is Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. It says with the mother. The mother is the murky stuff at the bottom, so you wanna shake it up before you use it. So I just always use the cap whenever I am drinking it or like in this recipe, adding it to the salad. I also added some salt and pepper since as you can see, it's a pretty plain salad. Like there was no mention of any vegetables or anything else and I tried to Google, so we're just gonna eat it like this. Um, but the apple cider vinegar definitely gives it like that kick, that like ooh, a little jazz. You can see from her salad that she really does focus on a high protein diet, lower in carbs. So it actually wasn't so bad, I would say the salad. Like it was, I mean, I added a good amount of chicken so that probably helps too. Protein and fat keep you full longer. So fat from the olive oil, I feel like I would wanna add a little avocado or like some cherry tomatoes or um, even seeds if you're doing the keto diet then you definitely love to utilize nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds and something like that just to give it like that extra crunch because I feel like having something like that every day would get like a little boring. The next thing that I read about her diet is that she really doesn't take cheat days when she is eating like this. So some of you might wonder if when we get closer to the end, is there gonna be some kind of a cheat? Um, and she said that when she's doing it, when she's doing the keto diet, when she's doing low carb, when she's eating paleo and trying to get in shape for a roll or lose weight, has some sort of fitness goals, she stays away from cheat days. She says that when she's doing it, she's just doing it and focusing on that and eating like that. The thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my hair supplements. So you saw me take these with my lunch. I do take two a day and I like to take them with lunch. I like to take them with food. So if you are a subscriber of mine, you know I've talked about these before and they are the Bondi Boost Hair Growth Support Supplements. And what I like about them is they're backed by science. All the ingredients are for a reason. Like I said, backed by science. So some of the active ingredients ingredients that will help your hair grow. Um, so the first is biotin. I feel like a lot of us have heard biotin can help with your hair growth. Um, but something I learned from Bondi is so can vitamin B6, which is also in this. So I'm gonna read this one to you so that I don't mess it up, but vitamin B6 ensures that hair cells have access to amino acids needed to make hair protein. So vitamin B6 definitely helps with the protein metabolism and making sure your hair can grow. This also contains vitamin E, zinc, silica, and folic acid. And if you go on Bondi Boost website, you can see that they have so many different things that support hair growth. I also use their shampoo and conditioner that smell like peppermint, and it really helps stimulate your scalp. They're cruelty-free, they're gluten-free, they're yeast-free, egg-free, lactose-free, nut-free, sugar-free, color-free, and all that stuff. The reason why I wanted to put it in this video is something that I've noticed years ago about Megan Fox is she has beautiful hair, skin. I noticed that not only do these help my hair, but certain ingredients in these vitamins have also helped my skin. And I think too, like whenever I'm asked to do a celebrity diet or workout, people wanna know what they're doing more so than just their body and the way that they look, but just like the overall health. And one way you can tell somebody is just living healthy, eating healthy is their skin, their hair, like the quality of your hair. So if you have hair length goals, like for me, you guys know, I've been trying to grow my hair to my hips. I mean, it's all the way down here. That is crazy. So I'm going to leave a link in my description box for all my favorite Bondi Boost products, including the vitamins, but the shampoo, the conditioner, and their hair growth mask. 
is amazing, especially for dry hair people like me. I will leave all of that down below. And thank you so much to Bondi Boost for collaborating with me on this video. <laughs> I swear she likes it. These are her favorite crackers. See, they make you dance. They make you happy. But she's pretending she doesn't like it. Mmm. <laughs> So it's later in the day and now I'm having my snack. So I always have snacks with Violet. This is just our thing, our mommy daughter thing. So I am eating a handful of almonds. So getting my fat in and that is what Megan Fox has as a snack. Can I eat her for a snacks? Can I eat you for snacks? <laughs> What up? Let me see if I can turn this down to talk. I don't know, I might get in trouble. <laughs> For dinner, Megan Fox loves her sushi. So she gets sashimi, miso soup, and a cucumber salad. Which so we, fun. yeah, I feel like we pretty much do that. We do a cucumber salad, miso soup, and a roll, except we do like the rice. I know, it's so good. Maybe you'll order sashimi with me. No, I'm definitely gonna get rice. <laughs> So I have to watch you eat rice? Yeah, I mean, or close your eyes, however you prefer. I passed it. Um, I gotta bulk up, yo. I've been, I've been pumping out, swelling up these pythons all morning. <laughs> gotta feed the, the babies, the muscle babies, baby. So I just did skincare and we put Violet to sleep. As you can see, it's like dark out now. Day is done. I finished what I eat in a day like Megan Fox. And I will say when I first read like everything that she ate, I was like, oh no, this, this is gonna be a hard day. I'm gonna be really hungry by the end of the day, but I'm actually surprisingly full. Um, I think because it's so high in protein, you're eating frequent meals, and then of course with dinner, like, I don't know, soup always fills me up, and like anything high protein will. It's just from my experience, as I said in the intro, I would share a little bit of my experience with keto. It's like the first week isn't that bad, but then it's like week two, week three, week four. If you are planning on doing keto, I will say that it definitely does work. Cutting carbs has always worked for me. Anytime I've done it, I have lost weight sustainable though it hasn't been for me because it's just something hard to stick with i love food i love carbs and i feel like you have to eat what makes you feel good i'm a firm believer in that now or about just like toning up now at this point i do have carbs like we have summer pastas you guys know and it's just about eating things in moderation but yeah if you are planning on trying the keto diet paleo it definitely does work you will see results I will just say that you wanna stick with it for a couple months because you want to get results. And no matter what anybody tells you, you do have to stick to a diet for at least three months to see results. So if you stick to it for two weeks, three weeks, you're gonna see some water weight drop and you're gonna de-bloat possibly, but to really see results, you wanna stick to something for at least three months. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear what celebrity do you wanna see next? Also, don't forget, check out Bondi Boost hair growth vitamins and just their whole hair growth line. It's so amazing, especially if you're trying to get your hair healthy too. It's not just about the length. Maybe you're trying to get it healthy. Definitely check it out. I'll leave everything in my description box. Have an awesome day, or in this case, have an awesome night, and I'll see you soon. Bye.